Fortnite's secret update yesterday actually gave us official release dates for Jack Skellington and the Michael Myers skin. On top of that, we also have upcoming bosses and new mythic weapons coming out that we have not seen before. And Shina BR also tweeted saying Fortnite just has given 10% of the entire player base access to the new item shop design, including me. And guess what, boys? We loaded up into Fortnite today to record today's video and headed to the item shop. And you guys can see I was one of the lucky people, a part of the 10% that does have the brand new item shop UI and revamp available in game and it looks absolutely insane. So yes, this is what the new UI and item shop layout is actually going to look like. Again, it is only available for 10% of the players. So some of you guys might have it and a majority of you guys probably don't. It's literally just luck on who gets it early. So yeah, it's pretty cool because you can see the cosmetics and they actually showcase over on the right hand side, which is a new feature. And you're also able to see every single tab available and you can literally just directly click on it, which makes navigating the item shop a lot easier when there's a ton of cosmetics in here. And to celebrate the new item shop UI and also having two brand new skins come out yesterday, we're actually going to be sending two gifts today instead of our normal one before we dive into the other information. So let's go ahead and send the first gift here, which is the Seth skin randomly to SFC Roman. So shout out to you, my man. Thanks for watching the videos. I appreciate it. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and gift the champion Kyra skin, which is for the FNCS event. She actually looks really cool. If you guys want to receive a gift in a future video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and also leave your epic usernames down below so I can add you and send you the gift. And a huge shout out to everyone using code NERP2 in the Fortnite item shop. You guys make these videos possible, so thank you so much for your support. Oh, this was actually one of my, look at that. That was the best glide I have ever had. I am proud of that because normally that is what I'm terrible at. So first things first, we can start off with the official release states for Jack Skellington and the Michael Myers skin and bundles. I know this is probably one of the most hyped aspects of this year's Fortnite Mares event. And up until earlier this morning, there was literally no official dates for when Fortnite was going to be releasing these guys. Whoa! Holy man, just fired a rocket right on our dome. But Sheena BR, a very reliable data miner, confirmed once it was added to the files this morning that Jack Skellington was actually going to be coming out into the item shop on October 23rd at 8 p.m. Eastern, which is the normal shop rotation time. And then a day later, Michael Myers will be coming available on October 24th, again at 8 p.m. Eastern. And multiple data miners have confirmed this because the cosmetics were finally decrypted in the files, so data miners were able to find them and see them. And I'm not gonna lie, I think it's a little weird that Epic waited so long into the Fortnite Mares event to release some of the most hyped skins of the event themselves. I feel like they probably should have released them like a few days ago within the first week of the event, but regardless, they are coming up here pretty soon. We're just going to have to be extra patient, so make sure you guys save some of your V-Bucks. And don't forget to comment your Epic usernames down below. Once those skins drop, we're going to be doing a huge giveaway and gifting a ton of subscribers, so you don't want to miss out on that. Oh, it is going down over here, boys. It's going down over here. What is happening? Okay, there's one. There's two. They're just fighting these NPCs. Okay. That was easy. Now, something else this update brought yesterday into Fortnite Battle Royale that some of you guys might have not seen or noticed yet is actually taking place over at Frenzy Fields. This is where a lot of the future map changes are going to be happening leading up until this season's live event. But FNCS tweeted saying the 26.30 content update actually had map changes. Kato Thorne's time machine has been used by the heist crew to go back to July 12, 2018 and return at Frenzy Fields, bringing back multiple old objects. And if you guys actually head over to this part of the map, I will throw images up on the screen in case we don't get over there ourselves. But a bunch of old props and items from the Chapter 1 Season 5 map have been brought back to Frenzy Fields by the heist crew, who actually stole Kato Thorne's time machine and used it to go back in time. They are now analyzing it, and the frame at Inner Sanctum still remains empty. So they actually took the inner part of the time machine. If you guys actually go to Kato Thorne's stronghold now, uh, you'll see that the 
the frame of it's still there, but the core of it's gone. I think it's hilarious that we have two legendaries, a mythic, and then our only other weapon is literally a gray, man. How have we not found a better assault rifle? That's insane. Oh, as you guys can see as well, with the recent augment I did, yesterday's update also added two brand new augments. The first one is Witchy Warrior, which instantly gains you a witch's broom and has a reduced cooldown. And the second augment is actually known as Revamped, which will automatically spawn you a wood stake shotgun, which is pretty interesting. It's similar to some of the other weapon augments we've seen where they will spawn you certain weapon types. Oh my goodness, I did not realize this guy was all the way up here. That scared me. Hey, and there we go. Legendary AR. We are right where we need to be now. Now, interestingly enough, there is a mythic version of the wood stake shotgun that was added in the files for this update, but it's never been released in game. I'll throw the image up on the screen. It's actually known as the high stake shotgun and not the wood stake. So Epic actually gave it a different name for the mythic version. As you guys can see, here's some of the stats and damage and everything. But we're going to find out right now if the new revamped augment actually gives you the mythic version or not. I'm actually not sure, so this is going to be a test myself. All right, and that is pretty disappointing. So it seems like the new revamped augment actually gives you a blue rarity version of the wood stake, which means there still is possibilities of Epic releasing the high stake shotgun as a new mythic with some of the new bosses potentially coming. And of course, some of the new bosses that could come out for the future Fortnite Mares updates next week could be Jack Skellington, Michael Myers, or Nolan Wade. Either one of the new collaboration skid could easily be added as a boss and Fortnite could use use that boss as a way for people to take them out and actually get the new mythic wood stake, which would be a really, really cool way of doing it. I, yeah, he definitely did not see, <laughs> he definitely didn't see me. Oh, that's so funny. All right, we're going to take Kit Shockwave Launcher too. I think this thing's better mobility than the Witch's Broom. This is one of the best mobility items Fortnite's ever released in the game. From where? I gotta see. Oh, and he's gonna take this guy out. Oh, this guy's a demon, dude. Look at him. He has the sniper and the DMR. What a legend. You know what? That's my fault for sitting still, man. You sit still, you get sniped in the noggin. GG's. Now, the one last thing that was confirmed by data miners in yesterday's update that is very exciting, especially for those of you guys that like to create creative maps here in Fortnite. But Sheena BR tweeted saying, Epic Games is updating Creator Economy 2.0 starting on November 1st. They are adding a new metric to the engagement payout formula that rewards creators when individual players spend V-Bucks in Fortnite before or after engaging with your creative island. So it's basically going to be a new algorithm Fortnite's developing that uh, uh, sounds like as a creative island developers, you'll actually be making more money depending on if your players are spending V-Bucks before or after relatively near, which is really cool because like I said, at the end of the day, I think it just means more money for the creative island publishers, which I think Epic Games is really trying to improve on. But with that said, that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.